Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm going to continue on from my card view tutorial that I posted yesterday. I'm going to put a link up here if you didn't watch that already. But basically, we just created a, uh, a basic sort of card view layout. And now I'm going to show you how to put it in a list view. So I'm going to store a bunch of images in the Drawables folder, and then I'm going to recycle the view in a list view. I shouldn't have used that language. I don't want to confuse you. I'm not using a recycler view. I'm going to be using a list view, and I'm going to be following the view holder build pattern like I went over in my uh, tutorial on it was here let me find it it was my video on um, the recycled list view wherever it is oh this one here list view with images and text so sort of using that one as a as an outline and uh, using card views instead uh, so to get started we'll go somewhere and grab some images I just went to uh, I just went to reddit and I went to earth porn and I saved a bunch of these images a bunch of ones that I liked and I just saved them um, onto my computer and now I'm going to bring them over here copy them and I'm going to paste them into the Drawables folder so that we see all the images coming through into the Drawables folder well they're huge might have to do some resizing but we'll see how this goes so now that we have all the images we're gonna need to create an object class to store the images and the URLs just like we did in my uh, list the list view tutorial that I mentioned so like if we go over to my GitHub, go to repositories, and it's inside of the list views repository. And this is the one that we used right here, the list view with images uh, list adapter tutorial. So if we go to, we, we, created a, we created a person class, and this person class held the URL of the image, so where it was located in your Drawables folder, and then the name, birthday, and sex of a person. So what we need to do is something similar to this, but all we need to do is create a title and somewhere to store the image URL. Because if we look at our card view, if we look at the card view, all we really need for each card view is a title and an image. So we're gonna create something similar, but it's just gonna have two things instead of the four that we went over in this video. So we'll go over and create a new Java class, and I'm just gonna call it cards since that's what it's going to be storing. It's going to be storing cards. And we'll create two parameters. One will be the image URL and one will be the title. And then we just insert our default constructor. Then we insert our getter and setter method. So just if you don't know how to do that, just alt insert. Um, I can't remember what it is on Mac. I think it's like command insert or something. I, I'm not too sure. Just Google it if you don't know. And uh, go down to getter and setter methods we can click both of those and click OK and there's all of our getter and setter methods so now we're done with that object class now we can go into activity main and we're not going to need this anymore and we don't need those and actually we're going to need to create a new layout file because this activity main here is going to be getting recycled in our list view we need to create another layout file that's going to actually hold the list view itself so We'll just call it um, list. We'll just call it list view layout, and we'll create that first of all. So let's copy that, and we'll go create a new layout file, and paste that in there. And all that's going to be in here is just a list view. So find the list view wherever it is, right here, and drag it in. And that's fine. We're just going to give it a name, and we'll just call it list view. And that's all we need to do. So pretty much what's going to happen is this card view is going to get inserted into each position in this list view so we're done in the layout files now activity main or main activity is just going to display the list view so all we need to declare in activity main is actually the list view itself we'll create a tag just because uh, for completion and we'll declare our list view up top and then we'll declare our list view in on create now we're going to need to create an array list of card objects that we're going to pass to the custom list adapter that we're going to build. So if you remember back in this video that I just talked about, the uh, so if you go to my GitHub, go to list views and list view adapter with images. If we find our list adapter class here, we see that we we passed it an array list of person objects. So this time we're gonna have to pass it an array list of card objects. So we're gonna create all of those cards and store them into an array list. And then just add a bunch of the cards to the list. So do list.add new cards. 
So I actually call this card instead of cards, but yeah, let's let's rename this. So go to refactor, rename, and just call it card. And then we can change all those to card. And then the card object takes uh, the string URL and then the title. So for the string URL, we'll go drawable, and we're gonna want to put each one of these names into here. So the first one will be Arizona Desert. I think I spelled desert wrong, but that's okay. The title so desert. And that will be adding one card to our card list. So I'm gonna add all these cards and I'm gonna skip the video ahead here. All right, so there's all of our cards. We have all of our file paths and then the titles on the right hand side here. So now we just need to create a custom list adapter object and then adapt a list to the list view. So I'm just gonna call it custom list adapter. This class, obviously I haven't made this class yet. So I'll call it adapter new custom list adapter and it's going to take in the context and it's going to take in the um, the card layout so in that case it's going to be activity main and then it's going to take the list and then we just need to go uh, list view set adapter and we call adapter so we need to now create this class so we'll copy this and Go up to here, new class, custom list adapter. And if you go to my GitHub page again, uh, like I was just going over here, we we just go to the list, go to my list views tutorials and list adapter with images list adapter. And we're gonna kind of just follow this and uh, build a list adapter that's gonna be very similar. So go to our person list adapter class and let's just copy everything. Copy everything from uh, actually right here extends all the way down so copy that and we'll paste it paste it right there and we're just going to kind of customize this to get what we need so we'll change the tag and we'll change the data type uh, context is fine all that's fine and here all we actually need is a text view and an image view so the text view is going to be title and the image we can still have as image, that's fine. And then we just change everything. So change that to custom list adapter, change that to card objects, um, import everything that we need. Not sure why this is red. Extend array adapter, that's probably why. Yep, okay. And just still importing everything that we need here. Layout inflator, sure. Animation. Animation, okay. Okay, so we're coming down into our getView method and the first thing we need to do is set up the universal image loader. So if you don't know what this is, check out my tutorial that I uh, mentioned before, the one that I go over in uh, this this video it's the custom list adapter with images and text it's the custom person list adapter I go over in detail how to use this and but in this video I'm basically just gonna throw in the library and assume that you've already watched that video so we're gonna go to the universal image loader uh, github page and let's go down to quick setup and we'll just grab the cradle dependency here and copy that and let's go to our app folder and we've already got the card view dependencies in here from the uh, previous card view tutorial. So let's sync this up now. Okay, once that's done syncing, we can just close our Gradle app folder and now go back into our custom list adapter. So we're gonna need to change these method methods a little bit here. So I'll just delete the two middle ones and call this title and we're gonna call the get title method and that should be good there. Now let's scroll down a little bit and see what we have to change next. So holder.title and it'll just be holder.image. We can delete these two here. This is gonna be, uh, what did I call it? Card title from, so if we go into, into activity main, that was the name of the title. So right here, this the name of the image is card image and the name of the card title is card title. So we can close activity main and we can see that we reference those two IDs right here. And oh, we need to create our loading up and loading down animation, but I'm just gonna grab that from my GitHub page since we've already done that. So I'll go back to the list views folder here. Go here, app, 
source main res and grab these I'm going to copy these two animations so if you saw that there is an animations folder anim folder so I'm going to need to create that first of all so I'll go into res and create new uh, directory call it anim and now inside anim I'm going to create two uh, resource files one's going to be load down anim one's going to be load up anim so load down anim and once again if you haven't seen this before check out my list adapter tutorial with uh, text and images and I go over this all in detail one more animation file here load up anim and I'm just going to go to the github page and copy both of those in so I'll click the uh, load down anim first of all I'll go and paste it in here and it's going to be pretty much the same the loading down is just negative 100% so I will change the loading up to positive 100% actually I don't even need that positive and we're done with the animation files okay so now what's next now we need to set the title to the title and use the universal image loader to set the image so let's import everything that we need here oh we're gonna have to import this image failed so let's go into drawables and new and image asset action bar tab icons and I just want to have like some kind of an image for if it failed I, this X will be fine and I'll call it image failed next and next now that is in the drawables folder we have our image failed there we go okay and I don't know how that got there okay everything looks good here so far now we're going to go down into the image loader setup just import everything that we need and I think we're actually good okay let's go to main activity that looks okay um, yeah I can't think of anything that I missed off the top of my head so let's just run it and see if we get any errors and we'll go from there okay and we get a crash let's take a look here view must not be null okay let's click so for some reason it's returning the view as null I'm not really sure we have to do a little debugging here so I'm gonna copy this illegal argument exception and I'm gonna surround this whole thing in try catch and see if we can figure out where the error is so I'll put in illegal argument exception and I'm going to uh, log the error so put illegal argument exception e dot get message and this is gonna print out the error and I'm just gonna I'm gonna highlight everything uh, from the catch and cut it and then I'm gonna paste it below convert view and just do return null if actually we'll return convert view here also and this is just gonna help me try and find figure out where the error is so let's run it again <coughs> it should still crash oh okay so it doesn't crash okay so it looks like for some yeah for some reason it's not able to get the images um, so and also you'll notice our default image isn't coming through so there's probably a problem with the way it's setting the image because if anything at least the default image should come through this uh, where is it the default image here because it's going to get set if um, if for some reason it can't get the image the image that we want so there's a problem probably ah here this ID is wrong I think so if we go to uh, our layout file and go to activity main we can see that the ID for the card image is actually called card image so that's the problem that needs to be card image I don't even know what image that is so if we set that to card image and I rerun this I think at least we should get the yeah okay so there's another problem too then because now we're getting our default image coming through which means our list adapter class is working as it should but the images aren't coming through so something must be wrong here and I think now that I remember if I go back to go to main activity ah here yeah so how I actually uh, write the URLs is different so you can see we write them in this format like this so I can just uh, copy this format here and we'll stick it in to there 
and this is going to be Arizona desert and that should give us the correct format so I'll just quickly change all these and I'll fast forward the video okay there we go now all our image sh images should be set correctly I guess that's what I get for not making this ahead of time I would have found that error ahead of time but uh, that's okay we figured it out so let's go back into our list adapter class and we don't need this try catch in here anymore I don't think but let's make sure that it runs properly before I get rid of it so let's run the app again and there we go we see that it is now loading our images and you can see the uh, the uh, view group uh, build pattern loading that default image first and then loading our images so one way we could make this actually look a little better is going into um, activity main and let's set some properties for this image view so go to the design tab and click on the image view and we're going to change the scale type to center crop and this should make the images look it'll it'll force them to crop and fit to the view window there we go that looks much better so now our card view looks way better than it did before in fact it looks a lot like YouTube actually so if, like if you were to go I'll just run my uh, web view app it's in here somewhere there it is and uh, check this out and if you actually compare them it looks very similar to web view I, I mean I would I'm not sure but I I'm pretty sure this is a card view like you can see this is kind of the title there's some more details down here there's a clickable button here but it looks very similar to what our uh, card view looks like here so that's it for this video hopefully it was helpful I know a couple of people were asking about how to uh, use a card view in a list view I'm gonna be finishing up this week's tutorials with probably some date date picker dialog and calendars and then next week I hope to get to a recycler view and I'm gonna show you how to use this same uh, this same card view layout in a recycler view. So if this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like below. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.